Hello and welcome. In this short video, we'll be looking at the Trimble Business Center software and how we can use the processing services routine that's baked into TBC to send a static raw GNSS data file off to the NGS's Opus post-processing service. Some of you may be familiar with doing that the traditional manner through the NGS's website, uh, but TBC offers a streamlined alternative to that. So to utilize it, you simply have to open up TBC. We've done that already. And uh, you don't even have to have a project open, but underneath the survey drop-down ribbon, uh, you can go ahead and you can select processing services. So let's go ahead and do that. And when you do, it's going to open up a dialog window. Of course, my TBC software uh, is, is installed and I am online right now. Um, but uh, but the first thing uh, you'll see is you'll see under this GNSS processor is the opportunity to uh, select or to drop a GNSS file. Um, I happen to have a T02 file that was collected from an R8S receiver. And uh, so let's go ahead and I'm going to browse for that uh, file. So let's hit browse and uh, browse for this previously. So it happens to be queued right up. So I'm going to grab that T02 file and I'm going to go ahead and select it. I'll give that just a moment to get queued up and pulled into our uh, into our software and getting an acknowledgement that was successfully up uploaded. I'm going to go ahead and hit next and uh, when I do you'll note that uh, the software actually reads into that file it lets me know the date and time that that data was collected uh, some other uh, vital statistics like the duration of that file what the point name was, what type of receiver was on, and really importantly, what the antenna heights were on that, which is uh, all the things that uh, normally you have to put in manually in the Opus website when you do things traditionally. So armed with that information, if I don't need to make any changes, I'll hit Next. It goes to my processing options. Depending on the length of your file and uh, how long you are occupying a point, you may see several different options. In this case, I was over on the point a little more than two and a half hours. If you have at least 15 minutes and you're in the United States, you should get Opus as an option. Uh, alternatively, if you have at least an hour, you may get some other options as well. So in this case, you're seeing the OzPause Australian service. That's a good worldwide option if you happen to be traveling outside of the U.S. And also the CSRS service, which is offered by the Canadian Department of Natural Resources. So in our case, we're going to stick with the Opus. I'll go ahead and hit Next. I'm going to put in my email address. I'm going to go ahead and hit next and that's pretty much all there is to it so pretty slick on that so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and pause the video we'll wait a couple minutes and hopefully we'll have our opus result in just a moment here All right, we are back. Just a couple of minutes has passed by since I paused the video. And in that time, I just got a notification that I received an email. So uh, let's go ahead and check my Outlook email. And sure enough, there is an Opus solution. So let's go ahead and open that up. And when I do, um, you will see the usual results, just as if it was sent uh, using the NGS's website. It's the same thing. Um, but additionally, what you will get in this email is you'll also get an XML attachment to that. More on that in just a moment. But, uh, but what you will see is you'll see the usual array of different solutions that Opus sends, including NAT83 solutions and ITRF solutions. And ultimately, we can use that to help refine uh, our data sets. Um, in a separate video, what I'll show you how to do is I'll show you how to take this XML attachment that we received and we will actually be able to drag and drop that into the plan view of TBC and use that to refine data and in our cases to actually reposition uh, an RTK base that was originally set up over a here or autonomous solution. So that's all there is to it. Hope that helps and that you can utilize that sometime in the future. We'll see you next time.